how did you decide to get into politics? Well, um, it's, a, it's a I, big field, I, I and, and you're going, you're, <laughs> right. you're jumping big. Well, I got involved in student council in second grade, and it sort of all snowballed from in there. Second grade, <laughs> correct. Really? And what I mean by that is uh, being involved in student government early on really gave me a satisfying experience of teaching me what it means to be a member of a community. You know what it means to work with others to leave your community a bit better off for those who will follow you. And I found that to be challenging, I found that to be satisfying, and um, that ultimately led me to think about my community more broadly than just my school or my town, mm. eventually my state and my country. Mm -hmm. I think we're all products of the people that um, have surrounded us in our lives and have lent us their uh, love and um, advice and mentorship. And that's certainly th the case with me. I mean, my parents have been incredibly supportive to me as I've gone through school and with every crazy endeavor I undertake, including you know, running for office. And I've also been fortunate to have great mentors. Um, a guy named Doug Bailey was one of the first people I met in Washington. I couldn't have been more fortunate uh, for it. Unfortunately, he passed away last year, but he spent most of his life um, as one of the first national political consultants when uh, political consultants were performing a public service rather than after their bottom line. Mm -hmm. uh, and he taught me through his experience how politics can be public service um, and how young people can play an important role and always have in our politics and really gave me the confidence to go out and do something like this. And my grandpa's another one I speak of uh, who taught me the meaning of service too, not in politics, but in life. You know, he um, was a World War II veteran. He came back and became a New York City firefighter uh, in New York. And even after he retired, you know, little acts of service, driving seniors to church on Sundays who don't have rides and that kind of thing. And so I think that helped shape uh, the kind of person I am today and wanting to serve. Mm -hmm. And I think you don't have to be elected uh, to serve right. either. I, I think I see this year that I've taken away from a potential job and a paycheck and away from anything else I could be doing as my year of service. Because at the end of the day, no matter how the election in November goes, I think I will have made a significant and positive impact uh, in our community and uh, more broadly in trying to get people to think differently about politics. Mm, that's a good way to look at it, yeah. I, I hadn't thought about it that way.